primarily. This is a rich olive. I don't care if my colors mix and all that over here. There's other colors. I actually like that. I don't always even clean my palette. So here's going to be an olive. And then fairly quickly after that, I'm going to put some uh, the deep mineral violet in here. So now I have to draw these trees. So in reality, they have light on this side and shadow on the other. I might keep that a bit, but it's not a huge thing right now. So here we go. I'm not terribly concerned that I'm following the exact shape of that tree. It just needs to look like a tree. So these trees kind of run together out here. So I am trying to get what I think will be a pleasing shape on the trees. That's going to stay wet for a while. So that's good. Now I'm going to go over here and do this one. And the green looks nice, but I think a darker silhouette feeling is going to tell the story better. And speaking of telling stories, when you're painting, you are telling a story. And that's what you're doing. So anything that doesn't tell that story is not going to be as good. So I just realized these trees need to come into the ocean a little bit more. And maybe I can bring some of them together a bit. I'll add tree trunks later. This is wet still, so I can come in and add my mineral violet. And it's going to totally change how these trees are perceived. So I'll go for one more little clump of them. I think these are called spruce. Some of them, these ones with a line that are kind of horizontal. I can kind of get that feeling here. It's mandatory. <laughs> in fact, I can't just put a lollipop in there and call it a tree. So I want the feeling of these trees 